Hi everyone, welcome to episode 14 of Nifty Knitting Ninja Podcast. Um, we are at 14 degrees today, no snow this week, but it is like 4 degrees cooler than last week, so still pretty chilly. We do have a little bit of sun sunshine outside. And I'm going to get on to shoutouts. Um, this week's shoutouts goes to Ascension Carrero. I believe that's how you pronounce it. If not, I'm sorry. Cece Gretchen Metzler, The Crafty Coven, Terry TN, Love Zombie, Crafts Never Cease, and D Belt. Thank you so much for subscribing, you guys. I find it amazing that I'm at 53 subscribers right now, so thank you. Um, and new RAV members over on the board are OCD Birder and Give Me Cake. Thank you for joining the group, guys. Um, and I'm going to get into what I've been working on this week, which is not a lot. I've been kind of slogging through everything this week. It's been a very, very long week, very stressful. Um, and I've had a bout of insomnia this week, so if you're seeing bags under my eyes, that's why. It's from lack of sleep and stress, so I'm sorry that I look horrible today, guys. Um... Something that I've been working on since I was gifted the beekeeper pattern, I decided that I was going to start making my hexi puffs. And they are both made out of red heart yarn. This one's obviously camo. I cannot remember the name to this one. But, um, I am not doing them with sock yarn since I have a whole bunch of, of acrylic that I have to use up. I am doing them in worsted weight acrylic, obviously on size 7 needle, which I believe is a 4.5 millimeter. But yeah, there's my two. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's all the two that I have currently, so hopefully I will be making some more pretty soon. Let me move that down there so that's not in my way. Um, like I said, I haven't worked on a lot this week, so... Let me just get this out to show you guys, and I can't show it to you guys really, really well because it's to the point where it's kind of a little bunched up on my 16-inch circular. Oh, here's the right side. Wait, no. This is the right side. Okay, this is what I deemed the right side. My hitchhiker. My sock yarn hitchhiker, which I started on my birthday. Which means that it's 23 days old. 23 days of work on a scarf, that's kind of ridiculous. But, you know, the rows do get longer, so hey, cut me some slack. Um, <laughs> and it is definitely getting longer. A lot longer. And, yeah, I'm up to a whole, whole bunch of stitches now. But I'm loving it. I really am. I'm liking the stripe sequence that it went through. And even that it's going through. I very much love it. It's squishy it's soft and I hope it's going to be warm and it's just kind of my project of whenever I need to really think about just sit there and really think about something or whenever I want to watch a long movie and not have to really pay attention I just pick this up and I just zoom I just go and I think last time I showed this to you guys I was at 21 points I am now at 36 so I'm zooming right along on this, and this is being worked on a U.S. size 2. Um, which I believe is a 2.5 millimeter. I'm sorry, I didn't write this down in my show notes this week. I'm sorry, guys. But it is being worked in Wolfrey Sock Stripes in the colorway Oasis. And showed this to you guys before, but for... Everybody that's new. Uh, it's got light blue, dark blue, yellow, and green in it. And it's very happy and calming, and I love it. I think it was named appropriately. Set that over there. And since I didn't get any feedback on... Last week I showed you guys my sock yarns that I wanted to knit socks out of. Didn't get any feedback on that. So what I felt like casting on that night was these socks and I'm calling them my vanilla Easter egg socks because this colorway reminds me of an Easter egg and um, I am using the vanilla latte pattern 
and it's turning out really really well. I love how the colors go in this. I just love it. And this is actually not sock yarn. It is Lion Brand Baby Soft in the colorway Circus Print. But it is a fingering and it has 60% acrylic and 40% nylon. So this is going to make a very sturdy sock and surprisingly this doesn't feel like acrylic. It's very very soft so yes it makes a perfect sock. And I have all this yarn barf right here because for me knitting socks seems to go faster if I'm knitting stripes. Um, if I just pull out all of one color it seems to just knit up faster. So, sorry guys, I moved out of frame for a second. Um, but my project bag is something that I also completed this week. It is not a knitting project, but I wanted to show you guys because I'm so proud of this. I did this yesterday. And I know I showed you guys the material for this before. I don't think I did too bad for my first project bag. It's got these little pull tabs on the end, which this one obviously did not get on right because it slipped from the pins so it's kind of on one side of my zipper but I'm the only one using it I don't care that one turned out pretty good and the only thing that I kind of messed up on is I don't know what happened right there but it's kind of fabric kind of folded over and it kind of made a little ridge I don't care I'm the only one using this it's not perfect but it's fun it's bright it's happy I think it's me because it's yeah, none of the seams are bare, are straight, but, um, yeah, not perfect, but it's me. Uh, I did use this pink and green paisley print. You guys can see that. Bright green zipper, which I love. It goes so well with the material. And on the inside, I did do the polka dots, which I'm going to turn this inside out for you guys real, real quick, just so you guys can see this. It does have several seams in it, but that's okay. And I did zigzag the end of the seam so that it can be washed and it won't fall apart. It's, yeah, like I said, it's not perfect, but it's my first project bag, so I'm very proud of it, and I love it. <laughs> as soon as I finished it yesterday, those two projects, the sock and my hitchhiker, went into it. So, yay. Um, and... I think I'm going to do this next. Um, I mentioned last week that I was needing help with blan blanket squares to put together for my friend's dad who has stage 4 brain cancer. Um, because I obviously I can't do this alone. I am still needing squares. I should have more squares in the mail tomorrow along with my Abby Grasso yarn that um, I purchased this last week. Sorry I couldn't show it to you guys this week but you'll see it next week. Um, I am still needing squares for that so if you would like to contribute squares or you would like to help with this blanket you can email me at niftyknittingninja at gmail.com or you can PM me on Reverly where I, um, I'm a knitting ninja. I'm by that name over there. So yeah. But I did get my first squares in the mail. And this is from Rebecca Mumford, who is Knit and Spins on Raverly. And she emailed me these beautiful, beautiful tweed squares. Kind of tan, tweed. They are crocheted. Which, if you would like to help, I don't care if they are crocheted or knitted. They just need to be a 8 by 8 inch square and they need to be uh, obviously machine washable and they um, also no really girly colors like no purples or pinks or anything because this is for a guy and um, he probably doesn't like that also if you want to incorporate incorporate gray in there I did find out that gray is the brain cancer awareness colors so some bright happy colors would probably be good to mix in there but just to let you guys know that gray is the uh, brain cancer awareness so yay thank you thank you so much Rebecca um, I really really appreciate that I can't tell you how much that means to me and I have a bit of a review 
this week. It's first time cable knitting, which I did get sent to me um, free of charge to review on Amazon. Uh, I got it sent to me by Craftside on Instagram. So I did go ahead and review it on Amazon, but I thought that I would review it on here as well. It's first time cable knitting, step by step basics plus two projects, and I can't tell you how much I love this book. If you've been wanting to learn cables, or yeah, you want to get better at cables, I mean, beginner advanced, this is great. This is all, um, it gives you every kind of cable techniques, and completed with written out instructions and chart instructions. Plus it has two projects in it, one being a cable and bobble uh, laptop cover, and the other being, whoops, it's right here, a cable pillow. So this is a great, great book for beginners and advanced knitters alike. I would highly recommend it for anybody wanting to learn cables. It's, it's really great. And um, last thing, it's not... It's not knitting, but this last Thursday I did have a day trip with my boyfriend and his siblings, and um, I I had a okay time. I mean, there's really not a lot to do around here in winter, but okay. So I just have to tell you guys about this because I think it's so amazing. Um, I we w did go to the mall where they have a Bath and Body Works store in there. And they were having, on all their little bottles of perfume, they were having three for $12. And I love this one. It's called Beautiful Day. And it's a clean, exotic smelling perfume. I really, really like it. That's what I'm wearing today. Uh, and these two, they kind of go together, but not really. Here's Cool Amazon Rain, which is a little bit free, but still clean. And Fresh Brazil Citrus, which by the name is, well, citrusy and it's a little bit more sweet. But they all kind of go together and I really, really like that. They smell absolutely amazing. So if anybody happens to go into Bath & Body Works, um, you're definitely going to want to check those out because those are fantastic. Plus, if you go in right now, they will give you a 20% coupon, your total per... Uh, 20% off coupon for your total purchase the next time you go in there and this is valid from March 9th to April 12th so if you guys have thought about going and getting some they're having great sales right now and head on over there and get that coupon that's great with that being said um oh oh there is one more thing that I have to tell you guys if you want to make a project bag like this, I just followed the instructions from I Heart Stitching's YouTube video. She does have a blog with written instructions, which is in the um, details of her YouTube video, and I will link to that below. Um, but yeah, she has amazing, amazing videos, and I couldn't have done this without watching it. So yeah, if you guys want to make one like this, head on over and check her out and give her video a thumbs up and some love. So with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go for this week. As always, have a great week, happy knitting, and stay warm in this cold, cold weather. Bye.